It's a fire season so busy, it's easy to lose count. Maybe not the best time to convince people that some fires are good. We're constantly working with our air quality management folks to find a window to burn. But that job falls to Gary Wuchner, the fire information and education manager at Yosemite National Park. And you can just look at the charcoal and you look at some of the rocks are kind of scorched. For sure, you can see the trees that are scorched. This fire burned 167 acres this spring, just off Highway 41 south of Wawona. And you have cedar out here, you have sugar pine out here, you have ponderosa pine. Luckily, Wuchner knows who started this fire. It was him. Right He'd wanted to start it for five years, just one of many prescribed burns in Yosemite. For thousands of years, fire has been an important part of this ecosystem. The forests depend on it. But we had a strategy for about 150 years to put out every fire. And that just led to more fuel, bigger fires, and more dangerous fires. That strategy has changed. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate it, don't get it. They don't want any fire at any, any course. Walkner says that way of thinking has led to what we see today, devastating fires like Yosemite's recent Rim Fire, a fire so massive it could be seen from space. 255,000 acres total, 77,000 acres on park territory, uh, largest fire in history for the park. The Rim Fire burned for more than a year and cost more than $125 million. Now Walkner educates people on what makes for a healthy and protected forest. These marks indicate a fire scar. From 1902 to 2003, no fires at all. Every fire was put out. And it put us in kind of a situation where we have an overstocked forest. Wuchner took us deep into an area of a prescribed burn that only stopped burning weeks ago. You notice the ash, mm -hmm. and then you notice it's really greened up. Well, it's greened up since the fire. This is called bear clover. Already, Wuchner says the benefit is everywhere to see. The burn left a deep layer of charcoal and ash on the ground, and mixed with the dirt, it's a nutrient-rich plant food. The other big benefit is less ground fuel, and less fuel means less intense fires. Uh, we lose some, but we make it healthier for the bigger legacy trees. Yeah. And they give a chance for your other species. And again, that's mimicking nature's way. Nature would have done that every 7 to 14 years. It's simple in theory, but planning a prescribed burn is just the opposite. Conditions have to be perfect. Summer fire season, for example, is a big no-no. To mimic nature by applying fire to the ground. But Walkner says his message is getting out there and has hopes that a generation of people raised on Smokey the Bear will soon be more comfortable with the idea of fighting fire with fire.